Well, hello everyone, and this is Peter Brown with Little Richard Weather for the next seven days. I know it's hard to believe here we are looking at Halloween. We have reached the end of October, and interestingly enough, we are now two-thirds of the way through meteorological fall. So unfortunately, only four weeks until you know what comes, but we probably still have some great weather to go before you have to start worrying about that dreaded winter season. Now, starting out our period on Friday, we're supposed to be seeing average highs at this time of the year in the mid to upper 50s, and that's pretty much where we're going to be. In fact, we're pretty much going to be around average for the next seven days or so. You know, it was quite a surprise when we had that extremely powerful nor'easter that came through the Burlington area here just a couple of days ago. We had some really heavy rain, some incredibly high winds, and interestingly enough, when we made the forecast out, there was only a chance of a small storm supposed to be expected, so it's really easy to see how the weather can change so quickly from when we put the forecast together into what actually happens out there. Now when we get towards the end of the period, again we're supposed to be seeing temperatures at this time of the year in the low to mid 50s, and we may actually be cooler than that as we head in towards Thursday next week. Looks like it's gonna be a real cold shot of air heading towards us from central Canada. And of course, as you notice, the days keep getting shorter and shorter as we head towards the end of October. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at what the Climate Prediction Center is calling for us here in the Burlington area in terms of temperatures and precipitation for the next seven to 10 days. And again, on our temperature map, looks like they're expecting us to have about average temperatures, maybe getting into that below average. I know that looks like that's gonna be a little to our west, but I wouldn't be surprised to see some below average temperatures as we head towards the end of the period. As we go ahead and look at our precipitation chances again, nothing new here. Looks like they're expecting us to have a slight chance of above average precipitation. And that's gonna be noted when we see the rain that's heading for us to start out our weekend. I know unfortunately you don't wanna hear that going into Halloween weekend, but it looks like planning for things on Saturday ahead of Halloween, it's gonna be pretty wet out there. So let's go ahead and take a look at those seven days of weather coming up here in the Burlington area. Again, starting out on Friday, looks like we're going to be seeing some cloudy skies with showers developing, especially later in the day. Temperatures only in the mid 50s, so a cool, raw, late October day out there. As we head into Saturday, looks like that's when we're going to see some pretty steady, maybe some moderate rain coming back into the picture with our highs again only in the upper 50s. So again, pretty chilly out there, breezy, not nearly as windy as it was with the last system, but definitely a real fall feel to the air. As we head to Halloween, looks like that weather is gonna be clearing out for the trick-or-treaters. It's gonna be a pretty pleasant day, temperatures in the upper 50s, so very nice if you have to be out and about. And when we get into the start of the work week, Looks like we're going to be seeing the sun coming out, temperatures jumping back up into the lower 60s. It's going to be pretty chilly out there at night as we start to see light winds moving in and a high pressure center moving over us. So temperatures are definitely going to be getting down into the upper 30s. And as we round out the period getting in towards the Thursday time frame, looks like we're going to have some unsettled weather again, a pretty strong cold front moving through with some showers. And I wouldn't be surprised if we don't make it out of the 40s on Thursday. And we may actually be seeing at least our first heavy frost or maybe even our first freeze Thursday night into next Friday where we may see temperatures going down into the upper 20s. So everyone, get out there, bundle up, enjoy the weather, and have a great week.